Tesla's already established an internal ecosystem to recycle battery cells coming from the field to its service centers. It's for this reason that 0% of the company's scrapped lithium-ion batteries end up in landfills. As electric vehicles take off, Tesla seems to be determined to maintain its lead against competitors in the sustainable transportation market. The company recently released its 2020 impact report, in which it claims it can recover 100% of its scrapped battery materials thanks to the company's unique recycling system. Today, electric car batteries contain lithium, nickel, cobalt and copper, all of which are mined in Indonesia, Russia, Australia or the Democratic Republic of Congo. At some of those countries, child labor is on the rise, labor standards often slack, environmental oversight is often below par and the mining industry has a history of fueling conflicts with local communities. To run an electric car, several battery cells are bundled together in a series of modules that are wired into a circuit and inserted into a protective casing. Considering that the number of electric cars on the roads is expected to rise to 145 million by 2030, demand for battery cell materials is poised to surge. Even some EV detractors warn that a clean transit boom could result in a dirty mining boom. They claim that the resources and energy that it takes to produce electric car batteries counterbalance all the tailpipe benefits. However, what those detractors often leave out is battery recycling, which reduces the need for new mining, making all the difference for the full emission cycles for EVs. Since its inception, the electric automaker Tesla has been relying on third-party recycling companies to recuperate battery cell materials from their end-of-life battery packs. By doing so, Tesla hopes to cut down on its cost of mining materials, like lithium, which isn't valuable enough for recycling, something that tends to attract criticism and a key talking point for EV detractors when arguing against the technology. Many hold tightly onto the notion that batteries can be recycled. Interestingly enough, most battery cells that the EV maker receives today are still pre-consumer, meaning they come through R&D and quality control. Most batteries that have been installed in Teslas, like Tesla Model S and power storage systems, like the Powerwall, are still functional today. As such, the automaker only receives a smaller number of dead batteries from the field. In fact, most of these batteries tend to be from taxis or vehicles that have seen extensive use. In the report, the automaker confirms that its battery pack is built to outlast the electric vehicle itself. This means that few consumer Tesla batteries, including those in the company's 9-year-old Model S, are already decommissioned to date. The company also notes that it intends to attain a closed-loop system that will ensure 100% of its battery cells are recycled and about 92% of its undamaged metals are recovered and reused in new batteries. With Tesla putting its focus more on battery material recovery, on-site battery recycling facilities in the automaker's battery production lines are then vital to achieving this goal. In the same report, the automaker added that once it achieves battery recycling at scale, it could expand the envelope of its batteries even more. The American-based electric vehicle maker also hinted that the battery recycling technology would soon be implemented in its Gigafactory Berlin, Germany. With the implementation of in-house cell manufacturing at Gigafactory Berlin Vandenberg and Gigafactory Texas, we expect substantial increases in manufacturing scrap globally, Tesla wrote in the report. Already, the company has installed its first phase of cell recycling facility at Gigafactory Nevada. According to Tesla, its facility in Nevada has helped the company to bring the world of electric cars a step closer to large-scale battery material recovery and recycling. In fact, the automaker will soon become a producer of battery materials like cobalt and nickel. Rather than mining these materials in the field, Tesla is aiming at mining them from used battery packs. We expect to recognize significant savings over the long term as the costs associated with large-scale battery material recovery and recycling will be far lower than purchasing additional raw materials for cell manufacturing, the automaker stated in the report. Tesla also unveiled figures about the number of battery materials it recycled in 2020. As per the report, 80 tons of cobalt, 130 tons of nickel, and 400 tons of copper were recycled last year. 
The International Energy Agency estimates that battery recycling could meet up to 12% of the electric vehicle industry's mineral demand by 2040. If recycling can be scaled up, it could limit global warming to less than 3.6 degrees Fahrenheit, the agency notes. Unlike with Tesla's recent cancellation of digital currency payments, making a U-turn on battery technologies is not an option at this stage, as it's the only working solution that could offset demand for new mining. In fact, the issue of battery recycling is so important that Tesla's co-founder and CTO J.B. Strobel quit the company in 2019 to establish his EV battery recycling firm, Redwood Materials. The company has even had a contract to recycle scrap battery cells from Panasonic's cell production unit at Tesla's Gigafactory in Nevada. In a separate story, the world's second-largest car maker, Volkswagen AG, has teamed up with Tesla to call for lower import duties on electric cars in India. Being the fifth largest automobile market globally, India imposes high taxes on imported vehicles in order to protect local automakers and boost domestic manufacturing. Over the past few months, Tesla has been making progress toward entering India with its vehicles, hoping to increase sales in the country with one of the highest populations globally. Earlier this year, the automaker submitted applications and received business licenses, which allow it to sell its electric cars and establish a team of company executives to oversee the entire operation in the country. Now, Tesla seems determined to enter the country, bringing its clean and sustainable all-electric powertrains to a nation that has been facing some serious pollution problems from fossil-powered cars. However, due to import taxes as high as 100%, Tesla and other automakers are unable to sell their fully built cars in the country. For instance, EVs with a price tag of $40,000 or less attract a 60% import tax, whereas those with a starting price above $40,000 attract a 100% import tax. This implies that the 100% duty applies to all Tesla EVs, except for Tesla Model 3, whose price starts at approximately $39,490. Tesla has attempted to lobby with some government officials in India to slash import duties by as low as 40%. Still, India's Prime Minister has rejected Tesla's proposal as local manufacturing takes the priority. Even some officials in the government have been worried that a 40% tax reduction could impact local car makers and auto parts suppliers. This hampered Tesla's potential entry in India, as the company's CEO said that he wouldn't establish a production plant in the country before testing the demand. According to Mr. Musk, EV demand in India would be measured through imports and the company would consider setting up a production facility if and only if the sales figures are impressive. Tesla had pushback from numerous members of the parliament who have insisted that foreign companies are not eligible for incentives. Domestic rivals like Tata Motors have also opposed the move, stating that it would hurt the government's efforts to boost the local production. However, Tesla has continued to push for all car manufacturers to qualify for tax rebates. Earlier this month, India's government officials announced that they were discussing a proposal to reduce the duties to encourage foreign EV makers to sell their cars in the country. Now Volkswagen AG is joining Tesla in the push for tax reduction on imports. The company is appealing for a cut of up to 25%. The German car maker has insisted that the tax reduction on imported cars would not pose a big threat to local automakers, but would still make imports more costly compared to local products. Just like Tesla, Volkswagen AG boasts a number of electric cars out across its brands, including the Volkswagen brand with both the ID3, ID4, and other upcoming models. The same way Tesla is exploring EVs for India, from its Model 3, Volkswagen is aiming for its Skoda and Volkswagen brands. This is only going to happen if India reduces import tax on fully assembled EVs. Make sure to check out one of the videos shown on your screen right now. We post videos daily, so feel free to subscribe and stay up to date on all most recent news and updates.